Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Uh, it's rather ludicrous, of course, uh, but uh, the people in the banking industry, especially J.P. Mo uh, Morgan executive uh, Jamie Dimon, uh, talking about the fact that they need uh, less regulation in light of the $2 billion loss on their uh, so-called proprietary risky gambling ventures. Now, this just illustrates that Wall Street is in fact nothing but a gambling den. And uh, the idea that deregulating and allowing these people to do as they wish, and that is to make up phony fucking shit that they sell and try to tell people that it's actually worth something when it's worthless. And then they turn around and end up eating some of that fucking loss. And you know why? Because there are not enough suckers out there to buy their fucking shit and to buy the garbage securities that they're trying to pawn off on people. And secondly, how do you even fucking know that the money that they use to buy this fucking stuff and use to gamble with is not money that's been put into their fucking bank for, you know, savings or whatever? You don't. And the timid, tepid fucking Wall Street reform that Obama, the fucking Wall Street puppet fucking shill, put into place is the most timid fucking piece of crap you could ever have. And at every fucking turn, the lunatic, absolute, sociopathic, psychopathic fuckers in the GOP are continuously tearing down every fucking provision of it and weakening it and weakening it and weakening it even further. So that in the end, it's going to end up doing fucking nothing except perpetuate the same fucking system of open fucking gambling. And just as a little aside, apparently there are some people that think that the election process in this country is somehow valid in some way, shape, or form. That somehow voting for one motherfucker who's a fucking shill for the rich Wall Street and bankers as opposed to the other guy that's a shill for Wall Street, the fucking bankers, and the fucking rich is somehow going to lead to something better for this country and for the people of this country. I have news for you, in case you didn't get it, by my incredible fucking sarcasm. It's not going to change anything. The entire fucking system is shit. And it's rotted from the very fucking core. And when I talk about regulation, just to be clear, okay, corporations run the motherfucking government. Once you get the corporate influence out of the fucking government, then you can have effective fucking regulation because they're not writing the fucking rules that they can then skirt at their leisure. That's what I mean about the entire fucking system being completely rotted from inside. And if there's even one person out there who's still thinking about voting for anybody, even the fucking ridiculous, ludicrous Ron Paul with his fucking voodoo Austrian economics that wants to cancel half of the fucking federal government, which all of you think is really great, but the other half that's going to still be there will be completely infested with the same fucking corporate rot that he does nothing to address. And you're going to tell me that somehow that's going to make things better? Fuck you! He's nothing but a piece of fucking shit like the rest of them. So give me a fucking break. And as far as his plans for Wall Street, <laughs> that's like open up the fucking casino. Let them do whatever the fuck they want with your money. The only difference that he offers is he says no bailouts. So whenever they go broke gambling with your fucking money, you're fucked. Now, I'm, I'm not in favor of bailouts, but I'm just trying to paint a picture here, okay? As far as I'm concerned, every one of these fucking banks should be allowed to go fucking bankrupt. 
and throw every one of their fucking officials in fucking prison. Prison. In the general fucking population of your average federal fucking penitentiary. There is no difference between anybody. And elections are a complete fucking farce. The only thing that you can do now is to express your complete contempt for the fucking system by not voting. Do not vote. It is a vote of no confidence in this entire fucking charade of a fucking political system. And remember, don't come down on me about regulations. In this environment, I agree with you. New regulations are not going to do anything. That's why you have to root every fucking corporate influence, every motherfucking Wall Street insider that's a member of the administration or a former administration member, the head of a fucking investment house, all of that shit has to go. And every fucking conflict of interest and get all of these fuckers out of there. And that's only the beginning. And then you can have effective regulation that will actually do something because these corporations will not be controlling the writing of it and or the ways to get the fuck around it, which they always do. Thank you.